Last night, I was playing Dead by Daylight, and me and my build, well, we fell out. I wasn't happy with it anymore, and I decided to change things around. And when I logged on today, I was greeted by this abomination of a build. Or at least, that's what I'm currently thinking. So today, we're going to hop into a few games and see, is this the worst build to ever grace this channel with its presence? Or is this perhaps the single most underrated thing I have ever slapped together? Let's find out, shall we? Okay, we're in an RPD. Let's see how this goes. We've got life. I know that's not a doctor. Honestly, they tell me to eat an apple a day. I've been doing it. And I still see at least five of these guys every single day. What is going on? Right, we'll continue doing a little bit of work on this gen. And then I think I'll go clear out some of the totems. Where is this guy? Hello there, sir. Just on time for your appointment. And obviously, someone needs to be here for the flashlight save. Might as well be me. Where are you, Cheryl? <laughs> sir, this is not very cool, nor is it very epic. Oh, I wanted to go for a CJ and she was on the other side. Okay, unfortunate. Here's the plan. Hopefully, Michaela gets that. Oh, yes! Yes! Nicely done, Michaela. Good stuff. Absolutely rolling the doctor here. And obviously, thanks to reverse thanatophobia, aka desperate measures, we should be absolutely fine when it comes to unhooking and healing. I mean, I know I slated this build earlier, but we're doing all right so far. The only thing I'm unsure about is counterforce, but I might change my mind on that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need to look around more. Okay, it appears that the doctor is camping Cheryl on the hook. Oh, and he's got her down. This is not very epic of you, sir. Okay, Cheryl, now you run. Hello there, sir. How would you like to perhaps not chase me? How would you like that? You wouldn't? Well, I, just, I don't think that's very cool of you there, sir. I don't think that's very nice at all. So here's the thing with doctors. Just hold the wheel. Because they all shock. They always lift up and shock. Which means you just get distance. Or, you know, you can just drop and run. Which is a very dumb idea. Not as dumb as that interaction, though, apparently. Wow, that was dumb. Ex excuse me, sir. I think it would be absolutely sublime if you just um, left the area. Kept going. Nope, we're camping. Okay. Do not know why I expected anything more from a doctor player, but... I guess it is what it is. Okay, I'll start working on some of these totems. I have a feeling that because of the way this doctor's playing, he probably has no head. So counterforce might actually be a really good perk to have picked here. Oh, get out of here, Herman. Get out of here, Herman. Who do you think you are, sunshine? Okay, Cheryl's gone down upstairs, unfortunately. Second to last totem's up there, so I'm assuming that the uh, the other totem should be in here. And indeed it is. Hello there. And then, yeah, the last totem is just up here. And now we get no one left behind activated, which is such a great perk. Well, it is if you can make it to the end game. The thing I find 90% of the time is whenever I run an end game perk, I just don't make it to the end game. But the bonus blood points you get, as well as the faster healing and everything, it's just a pretty great perk overall. Excuse me, senor. <laughs> oh, massive swings there, bud. As long as I can keep him blind, we're fine. Now hold W to the pallet. Drop that. Life away! Huzzah! Yes! Life value! Life value! Oh, what a build. <laughs> GG, well played. In on the wrecker's yard, I went for a haircut in there. As you can see, kind of butchered the trim that we had going. Hopefully, we'll have grown it back as soon as possible. Why do I know what that is? Why do I know that sound? Oh, it's a... Oh, it's a twins. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, it's a twins! Oh, it's a twins! It's, it's actually been about five years since I last saw a twins player. They're, they're a dying breed. There is no way you just threw Shack Pallet at five gens. Sorry, I'm just I'm still in awe of what I've just seen. 
<laughs> Listen here, Victor. Chill out, okay? Chill out, little man. Chill out. Yeah, come here, Victor. <laughs> Have that, sunshine. Okay, Meg running Kindred. And it appears that the twins are camping the hook. In which case, you know what I'll be doing. Now, what is the bet? The, uh, the twins here is going to tunnel. Looking somewhat likely. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we're about to have the second and third gens done. Good stuff. And then I will come and go for the save on the Nancy. Oh, no. Victor, this is not very epic of you. Excuse me, hit rap artist the baby. Meg, you're actually going to get me killed here. We just need to bait him into jumping. Yes, come hither. <laughs> get out of here, Victor. Come on, where are you, twins player? Oh, I should have been able to smell you. Charlotte. <laughs> hey, Charlotte. How, how about we don't tunnel? How about we don't... No? Okay. No, Nancy. Nancy. Get out of here, Victor. Then we're going to act like we've run away. When in reality... No! Oh, she faced the wrong way. If Nancy had stayed where she was, she would have been fine. You know what? I was really excited to get a Twins game before, and now, now I'm somewhat let down. You know what? I'll give the little man a bit of time to catch up. <laughs> oh, little man. Hello there. Who do you think you are, Victor? I feel like this is the kind of killer that I could quite easily dumb take, though. You didn't see me. <laughs> Imagine checking a locket. Come on, Charlotte. No, okay. Skadoosh. I've got a really fun idea. When Charlotte swaps back, I'm just going to blind her. Is it smart? Probably not. But am I going to do it? Most definitely. You know what? I didn't realize Charlotte's kind of tall. In fact, Bill and Megatron here have the right idea. <laughs> Hello there, Victor. Nice work. Bill, run this way. B Bill? Bill? Bill, come this way. You know what? If I was on the other side there, I probably could have got that. Wait, I might be able to... No, no, some schmuck used Jack Power earlier. Fine, though. Because I just do that. <laughs> Fortunately, we'll lose my item to Franklin's, but... It's not that bad. By the way, in future, whenever I sit here and say proudly that Mega Players are useless, this is exactly why. This is exactly why. There is nothing more useless than a Meg main. Meg, why are we leaving? I actually just despise Meg players. They are the absolute worst. They are genuinely the absolute worst. Nice, Bill with the unbreakable. Bill with the unbreakable. Oh, I should have been recovering. Oh. Hold up, Bill, Bill. Let, let, let her pick me up. Let her pick me up. Just let, let her pick me up. Okay, all I need is for Bill to wait for me to try and 4%. It probably won't happen, but it might. And Bill left. GG. Game three, and we're back on RPD. Now, I, uh, I went to my barber again. I said, please, fella, you need to help me out. This trim, all I'm seeing is Meg players, and he said, oh, don't worry. Don't worry, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. And for that reason, he recommended. <laughs> Get a haircut. That was, that was a uh, questionable choice there from myself. Oh, that was a close one. Come on, Chuckle. If I can't see him, he's probably over there. Indeed. I'm running in here. I'm not. Okay, now I'm definitely not. I would uh, break that pallet if I were you, my friend. Oh, no. I hate Chucky so much. I saw the footsteps over there. I was like, he's coming around now. Nope. Guess what? Chucky being a dumb killer once more. And I mean, I'm going to be honest. I'm actually quite liking three of the perks. I think life, as far as exhaustion perks go, is probably the best. I think it'd be between that and um, that and balance the landing for the ones I'd use. The only one that I'm, or the only perk that I'm not liking of this new build is counterforce. So I think that might have to go. But otherwise, I'm actually quite liking the build overall. Oh, that is that Chucky perk, friends till the end, I believe it's called. The one that uh, changes the obsession. Very interesting stuff. Right, slightly faster draw and hook. And then if Sable gets hit, we'll also get a faster heal on the J Jacob. Jacob. J Jacob. Jacob, sir. Excuse me. You who, Jake? Sure. Absolutely. Very real players that we're playing with. Well, you know what? We might as well get a little bit of counter force value. There's one. 
<laughs> oh, Sable with the 4%. Impressive work, my friend. Sable, go. Have that chuckle. And now we run. Now we run. Now we run. Oh no, chuckle. Ain't no way you just got hit and your first thought was, you know what, I'll drop this pallet anyway. Sable, mate. I think we need to reevaluate some of your choices. You know what, I didn't know a totem spawn there. I'm really hoping the other Jake's going for the uh, Sable right now, because if he's not, I'm going to feel bad. Yes, he is. Very nicely done, Jacob. Very nicely done. And then I think the last totem is this one in here. It is. Now, whether or not this was a useful endeavor will depend a lot on whether the killer had no end. If he does, then I will be willing to say that we got a little bit of value out of the perk. I'm assuming that once again, counter forces let me down. Hello, Chuckle. There we go. Now I run down here. Come for me in Z. Get some life value. And then we'll take Chuckle upstairs. We know that there's not the pallet here, but we should have a pallet in here still. Are you still coming for me, Chuckle? Yes, you are. I don't trust this one bit. I do not trust this one bit. Yes, Chuckle. Yes. The thing is, I can very easily shift tech on this pallet as well. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. Bolt. My friend, you're going to need to break that. Yes. Nicely done. Now we'll just come on downstairs. He's still after me. Please tell me I've got a pallet here. I do indeed. No. Oh, any killer other than Chucky and that would have worked. Any killer other than Chucky. And we would have been fine there. But of course the little man has that silly little scamper mechanic. A little scoundrel. And the worst part is, if he'd have broken that pallet instead of being able to scamper under it, I'd have not only had life back, but I'd have been able to loop him for probably the last gen. Okay, Sable, you have my absolute utmost trust. Please do not let me down. Thank you very much, Sable. I would imagine that Chucky's coming for my gen. If not, he's on the Jakes, in which case I should be fine doing this. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Chucky, sir. Chucky, please. Please, Chucky. Please. I've got I've got a life to live, Chucky. Hold W. Hold W. Hold W. Yes. Yes, last gen done. Now I've got aura on my teammates. Um, what's the best way to go about this? I'm hoping that Chucky's going to go try and defend one of the gates. The only thing he can do here is escape from one of the gates. Because we know he can't have Noed thanks to me breaking all of the uh, all the totems. Yeah, there we go. GG. And no one left behind would have actually come in very useful at the end there. If he had gone to one of the gates just to show us where they were. Okay, I know I questioned this Jake's methods before, but I will never question this guy again. He's even got the Sheriff Jake out. That's how you know this guy is a real trooper. How are these guys doing that? Is it something that you have to do on, like, controller or something? How, how do you do that? Oh, anyway, GG well played. This is going to be the last game. I think Counterforce kind of has to go, but I'm going to keep the other three perks. And honestly, not too bad for me. Not too bad for me indeed. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.